Hey, love bugs, brothers, we're back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for taking the time out for yourself to truly know that, you know, even though we go through really dark times, um, we have the power to get through anything that's been placed upon our path if we just give ourselves that time to believe in the universe as well as ourselves. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while, have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when you're going to start to upload the next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact to give, how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good information or even good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow impact going through some really hard times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I also uh, thank you for the support. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to re resonate with the content of my video. Um, my uh, meditation music I'm listening in the background is called Most Breathtaking Relaxing Sound Therapy Music Ever. One hour meditation music. I mean, meditation new age. And I'll post that link in the description box. It's by Jason Stevenson. He he really does a lot of good meditations. I love his his channel. Um, today my video is about uh, Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, uh, never lose focus or faith uh, during trials. Dark forces will love to see you fail. Lord, don't you know that's true? <laughs> I know you know. You have plenty of haters, and they need to be your motivator. As soon as I send it, and my whole dad on screen just lit up. You're like, oh, <laughs> so it's true. You know, I have to deal with them all the time. You know, we have dark forces all over the place. You know, um, you can get up and promise it yourself. You're going to have a good day no matter what is being thrown at you. And I'd be damned. You know, something comes flying in your direction. And it's just a good thing, you know, when you can be able to get back up. You know, we fall plenty of times. It's just up to you if you're going to be able to get back up and try to fight another day. You know, and I, like I told y'all in my other video, I wasn't going to make videos today. I wasn't. But listen to my um, motivational speaker, Jay uh, She. He's, uh, you know, he's inspired me a lot. You know, I listen to him. Uh... Victor Odd, I think that's his name. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. He does like the same stuff as I do, but he does like empaths and all that other stuff. I don't think he did any Hayoka videos, I'm not sure. Um, Trent Shelton, uh, uh, Don, uh, I forgot his name, Dahan something but he's on here as well he's a, i think he's arabian or something like that he's from west indians uh he does motivational uh videos as well kind of like uh jay does and they're very you know they they've helped me through a lot of trials and tribulations and it's like at times when times get hard you know we can lose focus on the things that you know are truly that really truly matters most to us uh, being able to, you know, stay focused during dark times can be very hard, you know, and it's just times I, you know, I felt like that today, you know, I cried and, you know, I said, I'm just tired of going through this, you know, I said, I push out positivity, you know, anybody who comes my way that needs help, I, I give them the best, what best advice I can possibly have, you know, especially if I went through certain experiences or, you know, divine realms is allowing me to see your life, seeing, you know, your past, you know, you know, being able to get hints of your present is truly a blessing to me to be able to do that. You know, I've, I've looked at a, a lot of numbers today. Like I said, I was, you know, reading all the numbers and seeing what the angels were trying to tell me. So we really had a long talk. Well, actually, I listened, you know, and it was just like going through those times. And it's just like I tell anybody who's been, you know, watching my videos for a while. If I'm in, in some if I'm in my feelings or I'm feeling some kind of way, I'm not going to make videos like that. You know, I just have to give my t myself that time to get through whatever I'm getting through and, you know, start back a new day. You know, not every day is going to be perfect. Not every day is going to be positive, you know, and I have to be grateful even during those hard times. You know, I get 
aggravated. You know, why do I have to constantly keep going through this? You know, things, I've, I've been having rugs just snatched up under me left and right, left and right, while people laughed. They thought it was funny. You know, um, being in situations with people you held dear to you, you know, uh, turned out to be, you know, just a facade. You know, it really hurt me. You know, so it was just like going through these things and it was just like what really, you know, shook me to the core and gave me that confirmation. It's like, I forgot what, what number I was looking at, but it was, uh, it was like, yes, you've been placed in a very, you know, tumultuous situation, but you were placed there on purpose because we knew you would get through that, you know, because you got guidance that is going to help you get through that. And I mean, that really just, I cried and I, you know, I took that for what it's worth, you know, because I know I have that strength. But during dark times, it's like really hard to be able to see that when you have been going through it for so long. You know, I've been going through this most of my life. But, you know, the really hard times was, you know, I thought what well, hard times was when I lost my mom and my sister um, to different illnesses. You know, um, my dad was, you know, it, that was one of the other things. But it was just like I had to really look at certain moments where I felt like I would never get through the things that I had and it was just like I had to really see myself as being strong you know I was a person that you know like I've told y'all before when I was you know I think it was like 26 27 you know I, I lost my mom and it was like really hard for me you know because we we had an oil and water relationship but that was the only mom I knew you know I really put her through hell you know, running away from home, talking back to her, being rude to her, you know, and there were some days, you know, I would get so angry and say, I wish you just die. I hate you, you know, and I, I mean, I really had to eat those words, you know, because it was just a lot of things that I really hated my family for because they, you know, they lied to me. They altered my life the way they wanted it to be. So I held them responsible for that. And so I ran with it and it was just like, you know, she was already going through enough with my mom's you know with her divorce and then I had to I had to put that on top of my mom as well you know that was a really messed up situation I you know I put her through you know and there was many days like when she got sick you know um but it was just like a good blessing that you know the last three four months we had we were like so close you know we forgot all the things we said to each other you know the things that happened you know we're just living for that moment and, you know, being at that young age, you know, anything that was like very, you know, uh, detrimental, like when it had to do with somebody's life, health care, anything like that, I was so used to my parents taking care of that stuff. You know, there's plenty of funerals I went through and all that went to and everything, and I'm used to them taking care of that stuff, not having to do this on my own. So being able to deal with those things and knowing that I, I finally got the mother that I wanted after that short time, you know, she was sick. You know, she had tumors in her brain and stuff like that. Never told a soul, you know, but she, and I knew something was going on. I'm like, mom, did I, you know, did somebody leave me some money in the wheel? What, what do you, you know, uh, why are you being so nice? And she's like, oh, well, I wouldn't be, don't be surprised if they do. And I was like, wonder, I'm like, that's the comeback you're going to give me? And didn't realize what she was talking about. So it was just like going through all those things. I never really thought that I would be able to get through my mom's passing you know I had to stay strong in days that I just wanted to die you know being able to know I felt every element every ailment you know what would they call it uh ailments that she was going through uh I felt everything she went through and I you know I was trying to understand trying to you know wrap my head like why am I having stomach pains while she's having stomach pains why is my I mean my head hurt so bad my eyesight went you know it was like messing up my eyesight all these different things my mom was going through, you know, I, I, I would start dropping things in the hands she had numbness in. I was going through that as well. So it's just like being able to experience all these things in my life and being able to, you know, place it in my book. I got, you know, I got me a book, autobiography that I'm trying to get published and all that stuff. And, you know, put down different experiences that I've had growing up. And, you know, I had to grow up really fast. You know, I had children at 16 between 16 and 21 so you know I had to become an adult really fast but it was like I put my kids through a lot because I taught them the things that I was taught and it was like it wasn't a pretty sight you know I did the best that I could but you know 
wishing I, if I could do those times over, I would definitely change that. You know, there's a lot of things I wouldn't want to expose my children to have them going through a lot because it, it, you know, they pay that price when they get in an adult age. So it's just like all those different things I had to go through. I could never lose focus on, you know, living for the next day. I had to live for my children, even though it was kind of hard to do that. Uh, going through all those different things that I had to go through, you know, I've had constantly had things placed in my life that I truly didn't understand why I had to go through them. Why did I have to experience these things? But it's just like going through all this and dealing with it today, you know, had me look at every life changing, alt, you know, even things being altered in my life. Everything was purging at once today. And uh, it was like, it brought me to tears. It had me having headaches and stuff like that. Because I was telling a couple of my love bugs, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to make any videos today. I'm going to just lay down and rest. You know, because I'm dealing with a lot. I'm purging a lot, releasing a lot. You know, I just didn't want to, you know, really talk about the stuff that I was going through. You know, the angels and, you know, archangels say I, 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 I hold on to a lot of things without expressing myself. And sometimes I do. Because it's just like I said, people going through their own stuff. They ain't got time for me. You know, they're doing their own thing. You know, I don't want to place that on somebody's lap. But being able to go through these things, you know, I never thought I was going to be able to heal from those things. You know, seeing my mom go through all those different, you know, situations of dying. You know, I, I try to make her her transition as much comfortable as possible. I tell anybody um, that has a, a, a family that's going through some really terminal stuff and they don't know when their last day is going to be. You know, it can be hard, you know, and you never be mad at them for not allowing you to know that. Some people are lucky to know that but then it's just like every day you're gonna be waking up is this gonna be their last day you know I used to be angry with my mom and ask her why didn't you tell me why didn't you you know why would you want to you know keep that from me because I would take my mom to the doctor almost every other day you know I had to go 30 miles almost every other day to take her to the doctor and she would never allow me in the doctor's room you know going through all those different things and you know um, she was like how would you tell somebody you're you're dying how would you do that? You know, you're my only child that's out and about. You know, she had my brother. He was in and out of jail. So it was just like I was the only one there. You know, I, at first I got angry about her not telling me the full story uh, about my situation with my dad. But then it allowed me to go back and reminisce down memory lane about the things that occurred around me. I didn't understand or it didn't make sense to me. Now it makes so much sense to me. And it was just like being able to see my mom go through that. You know, like I tell anybody, when you have family members that are going through stuff and they might, their emotions, they got mood swings, they might be mad, they might be pissed off, they might be depressed. You have to understand, you know, they, they, they're they being denied life for, you know, they don't know when their last day is going to be. So that can really put somebody through some, you know, some different changes. So have patience with them, you know. While you have that time, don't allow them to have to keep reminding them that they only got a short period of time. Just allow yourself to be in that moment. You know, make their transition the best transition they can have. You know, I did that for my mom because it didn't pit in my stomach. I knew my mom was dying. I just didn't want to, you know, admit that or, you know, whatever. I had to really come to, come to, come to terms with that because I had dreams about it. For like three weeks in a row, everything was happening in threes. And I told her about that stuff and, you know, she knew what it was. She already knew I was gifted like that, so but she didn't want to give up that confirmation or really tell me what was going on. But all these different things that, you know, I was going through different trials, you know, finding out things about my life that, you know, I, I got upset, you know, asking God, why would you allow me to know who my true, I, what my true identity is now after he passed, you know. I beat myself up a lot of times that, you know, my dad did come to Georgia and come visit me, but it was like the situations that my mom's ex-husband and his wife put me through, you know, people like that don't give you surprises. I said, these people trying to kill me, am I going to be a sacrifice for something? You know, people that were close to me said, you can't blame yourself for that. Them folks really put you through a lot, you know, for them to be able to surprise you with something like that, you know, because I always constantly ask them. You know, they was like, would you want to meet your biological family? Yes, 
I hope it would be better than the situations I'm going through with y'all. And they really try to twist and turn that because they put me through so much hell. And for me responding like that, you know, because it was like we went through something and we argued. And at first I said I didn't want to meet my family if this is what life is always supposed to be about. Because they made me look like I had an affliction. Everything that happened, it was my fault. So I was just like, then no, but I didn't feel like if they can't love me, I know my real parent parents wouldn't so there's times that I did shut my dad down and you know that hurt him and I didn't realize those are the things I was doing so I beat myself up a lot of times you know I talked to him like two days before he passed and you know not putting two and two together because when people were coming out with the you know his last performance he was singing like a bird but when I talked to him you know a day or two later you know it was like stuff just happened rapidly so it was just like how is that the same person that was just singing just about 24 to 48 hours ago you know being able to talk to him you know hearing that in his voice you know he was telling me certain things that triggered off things I was just like okay he I remember he, him you know one of my parents I felt this gut feeling like I got lightheaded and it was like having chest pains and I knew one of my parents was sick and I was desperate you know, des going through desperation, trying to figure out where my family and stuff was, you know, trying to find them. And he said, oh, yeah, I was sick in fe last February. You know, it was this has been going on for like a year, you know. And I'm just like, that threw me off. I'm like, wait a minute, I felt that. You know, it was just like, to, and he was, he knew, he knew. So it's just like going through these things. I'm not trying to make a long story short, but just giving you the examples of, the trials I had to endure you know I could never lose focus on those things you know I say even though I don't have closure on my dad's death you know it, it at times it doesn't sit right with me I don't want to say anger but I'm, I'm trying to be positive here um it doesn't sit right with me that nobody's held responsible for this situation you know my dad had like two surgeries on his hip you know jumping off of speakers and stuff like that you know does damage to your body after years you know we do a lot of things during our young age and thinking you know when old folks tell you you're going to be feeling this mess later when you get old you're like oh whatever you talking mess or whatever you know seeing my dad jumping off a lot of those things end up paying a price for him um and him having to deal with those pain you know it wasn't the fact that he was a drug addict but he dealt with a lot of pain you know being able to perform and still trying to you know get on with his life and do music like things that he loved to do you know he had to take medicine to be able to still do those things and nobody really understood you know the pain that he was really truly dealing with so it, it's just like when we we have all these things that happen in our life where we feel like we won't ever get through these things um you have to give yourself time you have to really see what what universe is really trying to teach you you know death is a hard thing to go through separation especially from your biological family was something really hard for me to go through you know um dealing with those things and i i know there's a bigger picture from all the situations that i'm i'm that's currently currently going going on in my life you know i can't lose focus i can't lose faith within myself or the universe that better things aren't going to happen for me so it's just like going through all these different things that occur in your life. You may not have the answers. You may not understand why you go through the things you go through. But no, it's going to serve a positive purpose in your life. It's going to bring you a positive outcome. You just have to really believe that things will get better. Like when you're at the bottom of the barrel, the only way you can go is up. You can't go any further. You know, so sometimes you have to be able to go through these tribulations, trials and tribulations to be able to allow yourself to be that open book. You know to let people know this is what i dealt with this is what i've gone through but this is also what i conquered so allow yourself to be able to know that you have that faith never lose focus on the things that you're really trying to thrive to get to you know darkness there's darkness around every corner and they would love to see you fail so don't give them don't give that, them that pleasure to allow them to see you do that you know just keep moving you know not every day is going to be a good one but there's always good within that day. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. 
the video. I would love to uh, give a post notification shout out to Robert Cole, Keith Bush, my my boo. I love you to death. I hope everything's going good with your, you know, being a life coach and everything. Blessings to you. And Sassy Miss K, much love as well, and Mama Shark. And I will talk to you on my next video. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to uh, get to know you and give you a post notification shout out. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe, the bell, share, thumbs up. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Because your kind words, you never know where your kind words might take somebody too far. All right. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace.